As part of the celebration of the release of Monster Hunter Rise, we get this special edition Pro Controller, which is honestly one of the best controller designs I have ever seen. Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, Lithium here from my channel Nintendo Collecting. Monster Hunter Rise released yesterday, I'm finally happy to have this in my hands. There is a system that matches this Pro Controller, that's on its way, so if that arrives today, hopefully I'll unbox the system tomorrow, so more on that hopefully really soon. The controller here is honestly outrageously good looking. Now, if you're not familiar with the Monster Hunter series, think basically like you're fighting a Legend of Zelda boss all the time. It has like lock-on targeting, you can forge new weapons, and really it's a game that a lot of people are getting into more and more. The games that I have in the series are Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate and Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate and Rise I'm hopefully getting obviously with the system because it's pre-downloaded onto that. So here you have the controller design mostly black with some gold emboss. There are a lot of different pro controllers now out for the Switch. There's actually five now so towards the end of the video I will compare this to the other ones. So the top of the box has the red Nintendo design here. We also have two sticker seals right here. On this one side, you have that beautiful design and artwork. So if you want to display the box on the side, you can still see what variation this is. On the other side, even better with more of a close-up. On the back, you have some information about the Pro Controller. This is honestly one of the best controllers I have ever had. The Pro Controller is for the Nintendo Switch. It puts the Joy-Cons to shame, especially considering the Joy-Cons have drift. So if you're ever looking to pro probably play for a long Long period of time on the switch I definitely recommend this controller on the bottom here it looks like we have some of these wisps almost like rune like basically for something like this now there are fakes that do exist out there of a lot of the pro controllers make sure it says Nintendo switch up here that's usually a dead giveaway it's not just a picture of the gamepad so that's generally what you're looking for mine has several languages here on the bottom now to open this up you could crack the sticker see the sticker seals I'm going to try and open this from the bottom simply just by pressing down and seeing if I can just open this without having to break the seal on this so there we go that's all I really had to do now you can open it up from the bottom so quick tip basically and now you can keep the entire box in really good condition and you can probably keep the seal on this as well so let's open this the wrong way but to me it's the right way as a collector to keep this in the best condition possible and I'm going to just close up the box but not fully. If you want to fully close up the box, all you really have to, actually I will do this, all you have to do is just press this back down and in, and then there you go. You basically still have the box looking like it's in mostly mint condition. You might damage it really slightly at the bottom, but it might just be better than breaking those seals. So let's just put this to the side over here. It does come with one of the cords so that you can actually charge this that'll connect. This is USB-C charging cable. We're just going to keep that maybe on the side. And let's take a look at this gorgeous controller design. I love how this isn't sealed by the way either. It's just sitting there in the foam. There is a barcode that you can see right here on the foam. Just gonna put that to the side. Let's take a look at this controller. This controller actually makes me so excited to get a controller that is themed for The Legend of Zelda. I'm just imagining what they could have done. I know the Joy-Cons are coming for Skyward Sword HD, but we really need to get a Breath of the Wild 2 Pro Controller. What would you put on the design for that? Maybe a big boss or something like that would be really cool as well. Look at how amazing this one looks. So the handles on this are the exact same as the other Pro Controllers that are standard black. Here's an up close shot of the gold detail work on the controller. You have four arrows obviously around the joystick, but also four embossed arrows for the diagonal directions. Then you have this beautiful image of Magna Mallow from the game that does look spectacular with all the detail work on this. On the top of the controller, I am noticing that there is some plastic right here that you can obviously take off as well. I think I'm going to keep mine on just to protect this and kind of keep it in as new condition as possible. On the back, I wish they did something more on the back. It's just plain on the back, it's clear, so you can kind of see through it. You can see the Nintendo logo on this. Another way to tell fakes is basically the logo might not be there at all. It might say something different, but if it does have the Nintendo logo, you know it should look crisp, it should look right, and there's even the trademark logo in the top right-hand corner of this. So this is a fantastically gorgeous looking controller. I really want to use this while gaming. I just think it would be so cool at all times just to be looking down while you're playing games and to see this. 
Fantastic looking. So if you're wondering about this controller, obviously, you have both a really good D-pad. To me, this D-pad, for some reason, doesn't feel as good to some previous D-pads from Nintendo, like the Super Nintendo D-pad. I don't know what it is, but it just doesn't quite feel as good as the Super Nintendo one. Then you have two joysticks here, obviously, that you can click in just like you can for the other Pro Systems. Pro Systems, or like the Xbox or like the PlayStation. You have the take a screenshot button, basically, the home button, the plus, the minus, the minus, the plus, I should say. And then you also have A, B, X, Y in the same kind of design that you've been used to for so long with this plus pattern. On the top of the controller, you have more buttons. Not only do you have L and R, but now there's Z, L and Z, R. Almost going back to the Nintendo GameCube, where you only had Z and L and R, but now you've got it on both sides for this, essentially. You also have where you plug in the controller on the top so that you can charge it if you're curious. And on the bottom, you've got the four lights that recognizes what player you are when you are playing with this controller. This is such a cool design. This is honestly better than a lot of the other ones that I have for the Nintendo Switch. So let me just compare this to a few of the other Pro Controllers that we have, and I'll even put this on a stand to make this look even better, actually. Let me just see if it works on this kind of stand right here. So the stands are from Rose Colored Gaming. This one is actually a GameCube stand, which seconds perfectly for a Pro Controller, but they do sell stands that are specific to the system. They're not sponsored sponsoring this video or anything, but I will put their link in the description in case you want to buy your own controller stands for any system. They basically have it all. So let me just show you the other controllers that we have now that I've unboxed this one as well. The other Pro Controllers. Here's the original Pro Controller, just plain black. If you got the first one that was released, it does have a special message underneath one of the joysticks. So the controller itself is right here. We can just compare these two together a little bit, especially considering they're both black Pro Controllers. It looks like the original here is basically the exact same. You got see-through plastic, and the controllers have these little grips on them, and that's exactly what this controller has as well. A little bit see-through, both the front and the back, and the same kind of grips. So it really is the exact same as the original Pro Controller. It just has some really nice gold logos on this. The first limited edition Pro Controller that was released is this one right here for Splatoon 2, which has a really cool color and design all over the controller. So let's take a look at that one. This one here has two different grips on both of the handles. So you got neon green and neon pink. Not only that, but you can see embossed all over the controller, the front and the back, we have a Splatoon pattern and some logos basically from the game as well. This is such a cool themed controller. Again, it's the only one with the two different colored handles. The second limited edition Pro Controller was this one here for Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I think it's kind of interesting that both of these are like sequel games, Splatoon 2, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. This one also features pink and kind of an off green color more blue I would say right here really cool design as well you got those two colored handles and then we have this design right here obviously from the game you also have right here coming across more emboss on this and the back is like this really kind of mix between red and pink for this pro controller so that wasn't the last one released before this one let's just move it over here for monster hunter rise because we got one more the third limited edition controller was released over a year later on december the 7th 2018 we got this one right here for super smash brothers ultimate this one has white handles and a silver smash logo on it there's all five in the box but i'll compare them all in a moment let's take a look at that smash brothers Pro Controller right here. So you have bright white handles and you have that Smash logo in silver. The back of this is mostly plain as well. There's no embossing on it whatsoever. I think this one is a really cool controller to kind of show up to a Smash Brothers tournament. It looks really quite, like, I want to just say elegant, and I could definitely see myself using this controller, except for the fact that the white handles are obviously going to show dirt over time. I don't really want to ruin the condition of this controller, so I am going to try and keep this one in best condition possible. This is kind of looking really cool. I love having all five of these lined up, so just so that you can compare them each to one another. Which would be your favorite of these five? My wife and I right now are usually using these two controllers. I tend to use the original Pro Controller and she's usually using the one for Splatoon 2. I would almost love to get a second one of the original Pro Controllers, just so that we're not damaging any of these limited edition releases. I'm really hoping that these stay in stock 
for a long period of time for the Monster Hunter Rise one because the other ones, they sold out really quite quickly. If I were to rank these now in terms of what I like the most, I think the one for Monster Hunter honestly has the best look and design. It really just kind of makes me feel like The Legend of Zelda with that monster hunter kind of idea, especially with the lock targeting while you're fighting the characters and everything like that. But this, I really just want one of these in The Legend of Zelda. I think this is the best design for the fronts of it. I think they could have made this a little bit better if they gave us some sort of additional theming on the back of this. Pretty much like what I think is going to be on the dock for the system that I do hope to unbox for you guys tomorrow for that. This one is the best front design, but I would say Splatoon probably did the best job with having that embossed splatter pattern all over the controller, which works really well for it. I would love to see more Pro Controllers released. I would love to see one for The Legend of Zelda and for Mario. I cannot believe we don't have one for Nintendo's three biggest franchises. We don't have one for Mario. We don't have one for Animal Crossing. We don't have one for The Legend of Zelda. We don't have one for Mario Kart, but we do have one for Smash Brothers. Monster Hunter Rise, Xenoblade, and Splatoon. Really good franchises. I would just like to see more of them. So let me know what are your thoughts on the Monster Hunter Rise Pro Controller, and which of these five would you use if you could just pick one of them to game on? What are your thoughts on the game as well? I would love to hear your opinion, and I really hope to get that console today so I can show it off for you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to fill the like bucket. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. I try to post videos generally on Sundays and Wednesdays around 10 a.m. Go collect them all. Stay awesome. Keep smiling while gaming, my friends.